Welcome back guys. Now I'm going to teach you the speculum examination on a patient. Uh, it is a female examination and it is indicated for several reasons. The commonest reason is uh, cervical screening. The other uh, indications for the speculum examinations are to assess the patient for the pregnancy related complications, PIDs, vaginal infections and it is also indicated for the medical legal aspect especially in cases of rapes. Um, now it is important that you explain this to the patient carefully. Uh, the patient should be lying on the back and they need to be exposed below their waist. You need to have a chaperone uh, for this patient because it is an intimate examination. It is also important if you are performing this for the cervical screening that you explain the patient that they should have no sex in the last 24 hours. Do not use a spermicidal gel and uh, they should have no menses when they come for the appointment. If uh, any of the condition, uh, the situation happens, then you may need to rearrange the appointment for the patient. Before you start the patient's procedure, you need to uh, get them empty their bl bladder. Now talking about the exposure, I've already told you it should be below their waist and lying on their back. The patient should have both thighs wide apart and the important point in this examination is the doctor sh should also be sitting at the same level of the patient and the doctor need to have a good source of light coming from behind so that you can see within the vagina clearly. About the equipment that you need for this patient to perform this, you need a jelly, you need an apron, a pair of gloves that you can see I'm already wearing and you need a brush. It has two parts, it is a brush and the handle. Brush can be detached and should be sent to the lab for the cervical screening. You need the speculum, there are different speculums in the market, it depends on whatever you have available. There is a metal one which is multiple use and they can be sometimes tricky to use and after every single use it has to be sent to the sterilization for cleaning. So it has a blade and um, this is the screw that you need to tighten when you're performing this. At no point you should touch the blades directly because this is a part which will be going into the patient and can give them infections. The other speculum that you might have seen or you may come across is this plastic one. I'm going to open this for you just to show you. This is a single use and it should go into the bin after you finish that. You remove it carefully. Ideally, you should be wearing the sterile gloves when you're touching this. It has the blades, two blades. You can see one on the top and the bottom and it has a screw to tighten. Now, I'm going to show you the procedure, how to perform. On the mannequins, it can be slightly tricky, so you guys need a bit more practice. Be careful about that. And now, talking about the indications I've already told you and the position that the patient should be in. They should be lying on the back with both thighs apart. Okay, let's see how to perform this. I've got my trolley ready, already prepared for you. We need the jelly. We need a speculum, a container to collect the specimen, and we need the brush. The patient should be lying on their back with both thighs apart, and the doctor has to come to the opposite side and sit down. Before you sit down, it is important that you examine the patient, perform a thorough inspection of the genital area in, in the pelvis, in the patient, Look for any abnormal hair pattern and look for any ulcer 
any inflammation, any redness in the labia majora, before you touch the patient, make sure that you warn the patient as well. And after you warn the patient, apart the labia majora and look for the labia minora and clitoris. If you find any bleeding, any discharge, any ulcer, comment on that. Now, let's move to the procedure itself. We got this, all the material. And assuming that the patient is in the appropriate position with both thighs apart, sit down on the chair at the same level as the patient's uh, private area so that you can visualize clearly. Warn the patient before you insert because it will be cold. The patient may feel discomfort. Put your hand on one thigh and insert it. Before you insert, make sure that it is fully closed. Insert the speculum in line with the vagina. After putting the jelly on that I had already done, Open it slightly and do not tighten it fully and look for any abnormality on the interior and the posterior wall of the vagina. Comment on that. You can find any growth, any ulcer or anything abnormal. Just simply comment on that. And while keeping your hand on the thigh, rotate it to the opposite side and bring it in the middle and hold it carefully. Tighten the screw until you can see it clearly inside the vagina. Now at this point you should be able to see both lateral walls of the vagina as well as the external os of the cervix. Comment on that whether this is a slit like or oval or circular. Take your brush, make sure that you do not touch the blades of the speculum or the walls of the vagina. Take it straight to the external hose and rotate it 10 times clockwise and bring it out, making sure that it does not touch the blades in the vagina. Take the brush to the container and detach from the handle simply by pulling it away. This can go in the bin. After you've done that, untie the screw gently and make sure that now this time it does not close fully. Rotate it back in the same position when you insert it and Remove it gently. After you have removed, make sure that you look on the blades to find out if there is any bleeding or any discharge. Clean the patient, cover the patient and thank the patient. This should be labeled on time and sent it straight to the laboratory. And document your findings and the procedure in the patient's notes. That's all about it. If you have any confusion, please read your notes and ask us. Thank you.